What is up guys? It's Graham here from the Elite Lacrosse. Back at it again with these videos. So today I'm doing a gear bag video. To start it off, I have my bag. Right here. It says Game Breakers Lacrosse. Uh it's a 2Z bag. You see right there. Yeah, that's all there is to it. It's just like generic lacrosse bag not waterproof or anything well let's get into it so start off with my chest protector still have the same one as last year m3 um i really like it it's not the best chest protector but it's light uh it's pretty flexible you can flex it this is adjustable up here which is nice the back has protection but if you're like a youth player I wouldn't really recommend this because this is like for like kind of high school college players but if you're getting a chest protector I would get the I forget what it's called but it's the ST I think it's like the STX um, cell like cell pads those are good but I don't recommend those until you get to high school. So, and now onto elbow pads. I have the SDX cell fi uh, fives. Yeah, cell f four or five. Um, pretty nice. They fit well. They're pretty tight. You see, I don't like them huge. They're protective. They're better than my last uh, elbow pads, which I recently broke. And I really recommend these. They're strong, durable. Yeah. Uh, I think I have la uh, my old ones in here. Yeah. So my old ones were these Maverick Rome RX-3s. And you see, broke that right there. So... When I go, it goes like that. My elbow's just gonna get checked. But these are good elbow pads. They've lasted me like two or three, two to three years, yeah. Or two to three seasons. Pretty durable, they're light. But I recommend the cell fours better. But they're still both good at elbow pads. Um, now onto jerseys. This is my spring jersey for FYL. Um, pretty bad. They look terrible. Got the number on the back with the eagle. And then it's the same thing, but just in white, you see. Um, I have like other ones for practice, like my old rhino one, which looks pretty fly. Has rhino on the front with the, uh, with our number, the logo on the back with our number. Um, and that's reverses into white, I mean red. Uh, and then this is from my camp with Coach Tambroni, Life Leadership Lacrosse, pretty cool. It says lead on the bottom. And then same thing in white with the lead. Um, and then these are our FYL practice jerseys. It's blue and white, has the logo on the back, just says Fairfield, like Fairfield Sporting Goods. That's all there is to it. And then this was my last year's Eclipse jersey, which I have the shirt on. So it says Eclipse, with the Under Armour. Uh, same thing, and on the back, well, on the front, there's the number two. Back, there's my name, Michener, 28, with my year. And then it's the same thing in orange. Uh, and then we have the old Rhino ones. So, these were, like, so I played two seasons with the Rhino, and these were the newer ones. So it's gray with the logo, 28. And then on the back, just 28 with Rhino. And same thing in red and white. Pretty sick. Uh, there's more. 
we have the tryout slash practice jerseys for that year. So it's Rhino logo and then number, same thing in red. And that's all the jerseys. So then gloves. Right now these are my main gloves. Same ones as last year, Eclipse. They're like really durable. Palms are still good. You see, a like couple rips are starting to come. But I've had these for like at least two seasons. This is my third season with it. Well, going into my fourth. So they lasted like a long time. And then these were my old gloves. Uh, these green Make-A-Wish gloves when I first played for Make-A-Wish. I like them, but they don't really fit. And they have like holes in them, you see. Well, these lasted me for like five seasons. So these are small, the Eclipse ones are medium. And then I have large ones for my high school team next year in all red, for Fairfield Prep. Uh, their colors are red and white. So I got this in large, which kind of fit right now. But like pretty much brand new, got them for $17. It's a great deal. They're not broken in now. Um, now on to helmets. So I have two helmets. One, so you see the Cascade S. Um, great helmet overall. Uh, see in the video. That's, like, you can see my face pretty much. Uh, they have the thin bar here. And it's, so this year I'm playing for Wolves this summer. And this is the helmet I'm going to wear. So Wolves is gray, blue, and green, and white. So I'll get either a white or green chin strap, and then I'll have the decals on it. Then on the back of it, I have the American flag and cancer uh, like sign thing. Don't know what it's called, but I just support cancer all the time. And then the helmet I wear right now, same as last year, I have the my Eclipse R. Uh, with 2.8 and pops um, right here it you can see a little bit how there's like a little white it did say Eclipse but I got like so many checks that it scraped away there's a lot of necks and stuff on it you see um, and then my mouth guard is just a simple shock like doctor mouth guard and this chin strap has the Eclipse logo on it. You see? Pretty cool. Um, and then what else? So I have an extra butt just in case. I have my other mouth guard, which is one of those ones that are like thin, fit in your mouth, you know. Um pretty they're pretty nice. Have tape extra tape. The scissors are supposed to be in there, but extra tape and scissors. Got the ear pad thing for the R. Um, so a random string. Then there's just tools and stuff. Bracelets. I don't know why. I uh, got a headband. Another R pad. And some tape. And then I also have my gel pad that I sometimes need. I always keep that in there. And then I have strings with like mesh, old mesh. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, that's my whole year bag video for this upcoming summer season. I was just at the final four, great games. Uh, the first game, Virginia Duke was an awesome game, double overtime. Uh, Ian won that game for Virginia. My buddy uh, 
Birkenshaw was on the sideline, number 25 goalie, freshman. Uh, and then the Yale game was pretty good, but not as good as the Virginia game. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I think that Virginia was better, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.